Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Alvi Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at LeadCore platform. All my code solutions for all the questions available in LeadCore platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into five playlists which are uh, consisting of easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty category, the premium questions which are asked from the LeadCore platform premium section and also all questions have gem uh, all the 230 questions have combined into one single playlist and uh, ordered by the sequence number which are there in the lead core platform let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today the question number is 1677 products worth over invoices let's see the question in lead code yeah they have given a table called product it is consisting of product id name name similarly type okay where care okay and the res respective invoices invoice id is there product id is there rest paid cancel okay the properties of that they're showing and we can see that both these tables are connected using product id okay what is that write an sql query that will for all products return each product name with the total amount due paid cancel and refund across all devices return the result type ordered by product name okay Let's see the example table which they given here. Here we can see this two tables are joined using product ID and product ID. Okay. Let's see. Now what they're doing is with respect to their name, how many number of times they got rest, number of times they got paid, cancelled and refunded. So we can see that ham is connected to this table because it is zero zero. Ham is connected is to this table. Okay. Bacon is connected to this because one 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 one. This four this four okay got it now if you see if you go let's say that we are doing the inner join now for ham how many number of IDs uh, okay they want the sum of things or what yeah su sum of rest sum of paid sum of cancel and sum of refund they want okay let's see what is the rest column here this one okay what is the sum of rest for uh, ham 2 plus 0 uh, just a minute yeah 2 plus 0 you can see 2 is the answer similarly paid 0 plus 4 4 is the answer cancelled 5 plus 0 5 is the answer 0 plus 3 3 is the answer similarly for uh, back on he is connected to 4 rows you can see that for product ID 1 1 1 sum is 3 for rest it is 1 0 1 1 again 3 and for uh, paid is also 0 1 1 1 3 for uh, refunded it is 1 1 1 0 yeah it is also 3 okay let's do one thing we do inner join of thing these things after that we will group by name and we will uh, calculate the sum of these respective things Let's see, uh, from which table, product table, 
a inner join invoice b on a dot product id equal to b dot product id okay what we want select uh, what is that we need uh, it select yeah we need to group by name okay result the return table by product name yeah order pay also name in the select we want what name comma sum of rest as rest sum of paid 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 sum of cancelled as cancelled there is only one null comma sum of refunded as refunded let's run it yeah it got accepted let's submit it okay what is the issue okay one more column is there okay there is an issue here let's say that uh, where is this one yeah let's say that there is one more column called to apple okay and if you group it by them there will be nothing because inner join of this one will not be this one. so they have given not given this edge cases in that so for two if you want something then you need to do what not inner join left to join because we want uh, things which are not matching also okay then for two apple what we will be getting sum of things will be null right so, null paid will also be null everything will be null okay but we shouldn't return as null right sum should be zero okay so i will keep it like this instead of inner join i will keep left to join okay if it is matching rows like this we need to sum it like that if it is not some uh, matching then it will be null so we can use this function is null is null means it will check whether it is a null thing or not if it is null return it as zero is null return it as zero for all the rows is null uh, return it as zeros is null return it as zeros let's run it submit it yes it got submitted thanks for watching my video if you like my explanations and if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your colleagues and teammates or anyone who is preparing for a data scientist or data analytic interview which will be beneficial for you and your uh, colleagues be disciplined complete all the videos which are there in my playlist go through them practice them and uh, keep moving forward keep hustling and uh, just as to your doom thank you